right so the deadlock detection right so we have the uh, request matrix right and the current allocation right so here first what we do is you can see from deadlock detection we mark each process which all the elements are zeros in the allocation matrix so you can see p4 does not have any allocation right p4 does not have any allocation that means p1 will not get involved in a deadlock why there is nothing allocated right so we mark p4 because there is nothing allocated for it so it won't involve in a deadlock right then what we do is we will initiate a matrix called w equal to the available matrix right so we have matrix called w right equivalent to the available matrix right and then the third step recursively find an index i such that process i is currently unmarked and i throw of q is less than or equivalent to w so that means we check whether a process in the uh, uh, in the uh, request right whether we can satisfy right from each index so here what we can see is in q right p3 right so in here we can see p3 can be satisfied we can the request is 0 0 0 1 and that can be satisfied so when p3 can be satisfied that means p3 will complete and release what is already allocated that means 0 0 1 0 will be released so we mark those processes as well as we add the allocation matrix into the temporary vector so now we have 0 0 0 1 1 so again we have to check whether we can satisfy the index of uh, the q matrix q with the matrix uh, with the matrix w right so again we can see we have p1 and p2 remaining so p1 and p2 cannot be satisfied right because available matrix we have 0 0 0 1 1 right p1 requires 0 1 0 0 1 that cannot be satisfied p2 has 0 0 1 0 1 that is also not possible so the temporary vector w cannot satisfy the request for p1 and p2 so that means p1 and p2 will be in a deadlock right so that is the situation right so that is how we detect the deadlock using the deadlock detection algorithm right so initially we will mark processes which does not have any allocation that is the first step right and then we copy the available matrix into a matrix called w and then we check whether we can satisfy any request right if the request can be satisfied that means the, the current allocation will be released right so the algorithm will run until there are no processes or no processes that can be satisfied by the available vector right so in this example we can see the deadlock will happen with p1 and p2 p3 and p4 p4 will not involve a deadlock because there is no allocation p3 can be satisfied with the available vector right so do you have any questions in deadlock detection
right so if there are no questions then you can try this example so check whether there is a, a safe state you can check the sequence whether there, this is a, a safe state by running the detection algorithm so i will give you around uh, 10 minutes for you to try it out 